This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Lars von Trier. Uh, Trier. Uh, at uh, the Cannes Film Festival. And, you know, he was at a press conference at the Cannes Film Festival. And he made this weird, awkward statement about how he's a Nazi. Well, now we have awesome video of his speech. Okay, and I just want you guys to pay close attention to uh, Kristen Dunst. Yeah, no, no, her reaction makes the whole thing. And the video allows you to see where he was going with it, right? And it wasn't good. But he, and then we'll tell you about the consequences too. So let's watch. Anyway, I, I know I really wanted to be a Jew, and I, and then I found out that I was really a Nazi. You know, uh, because my family was German, Hartmann, uh, which also gave me some pleasure. <laughs> so I'm kind of a, yeah. So I, 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 I what can I say? Um, I, I understand Hitler. But uh, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I think he did some wrong things. Yes, absolutely. But 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 I I, I can see him sitting in the, in his bunker in the end. But I, there will come a point at the, at the end of this. There will come. I will. I will. No, I'm just saying that 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 uh, I understand. I, I think I understand the man. Uh, he's not what we, you would call a good guy. But I. Um, yeah, I, I understand much about him, and I sympathize with him a little bit, yes. Not, but come on, I, I'm not for the Second World War, and I'm not against Jews, Susanna Beer is. No, no, not even Susanna Beer. Um, that was also a joke. I am, of course, uh, very much for Jews. No, not too much, because Israel is a pain in the ass, but uh, still, um, how can I get out of this sentence? <laughs> by, uh, by another question. I am. Uh, I am uh, Here's your salvation. Uh, oh, there's just. But no, I just want to say about the art of, of the. I, I'm, I'm very much for uh, Speer. Speer I liked. Uh, Albert Speer I liked. He was also maybe one of God's best children, but he, he had some talent that was kind of. Uh, possible for him to uh, to use during. Um... Okay, I'm a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different note. Um, Peter. Kier. Oh boy, that did not go over well. Okay, but that Kirsten Dunst's reaction was phenomenal. She was so uncomfortable. I've never seen a person more uncomfortable in my life. The first Nazi reference, she's like, all right, she like does this, and then the second like Hitler thing, she's like. Right, and then when the third thing, like where he was like, I, you know, I sympathize with him or something. She's like, then she's like, oh my god, panic! Like, what's going on? She goes behind his back. Like, how do we make this guy stop? Right. Like, he's not only destroying his career, he might be destroying my career. Shut up! I mean, would she be? I know exactly. Would she be out of line if she somehow jumped in and was like, ah, he's just joking around. Let's move on. Let's do something. Let's talk about something else. Look, look. That's personally what I would do. No, I hear you. But at that point, anything's going to get you in trouble. This guy's talking about being a Nazi, okay? Even if you try to cover for him politely and say, oh, he's just joking around, mm -hmm. that puts you in trouble, okay? And look, she doesn't have to do anything. It's not her. And remember, that's her director on that movie that it was actually getting rave reviews before he got banned from Cannes. And that's what happened, by the way. Right. After this, he's a banned, okay? Now, look, but the thing is, what we were wondering about yesterday when we read the comments is what the hell was he talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Is he serious? Is he joking? And as you watch the video, I got a sense that it's somewhere in the middle, right? I don't think he was, he certainly wasn't saying like, I'm a Nazi, yeah, right? No, right? At the same time, he wasn't totally joking. It didn't sound like he was joking. That's the thing. I mean... You can tell when there's even a tiny amount of sarcasm in a statement. There was no sarcasm. There was no sense of, ah, I'm messing around with you. The only time when I got the sense that he was joking was when he picked on Suzanne Beer, and he was like, that was a joke. At the very end when he said, okay, I'm a Nazi, then I thought he was joking. Mm -hmm. Then there was a little bit of sarcasm there, right? And then there's a language barrier a little bit. Now, his English is, is very good, but... You can tell he's still struggling, what do I say? 
maybe you lose some of the nuance of what he meant about Hitler. You know, I don't know why I'm going out of my way to try to explain it, right? I mean, it didn't sound good, right? So, I, I, as I was telling you off here yesterday, like, I feel like if he was a politician or whatever, done, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, O-V-A-H, OVA, right? If he's in a position of power, etc. He's a director. I kind of view him almost like a fashion guy. Like, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, right? Like, you can't really take him seriously. Um <laughs> But that other fashion guy that got in trouble for the anti-Jewish comments, anti-Semitic comments? Yes. For him, I sense vitriol, right? Right. I sense that he really disliked Jews, mm-hmm. right? I didn't get that sense from Lars, even though he said things that were crazy and maybe ten times worse. Who says I'm a Nazi? Who says Hitler? Ah, I kind of sympathize with him. That's crazy, right? So, I don't know, though. You, you see what I'm saying? I agree with you when it comes to the delivery. Uh, you know, the fashion designer, yeah, it, there was definitely vitriol there. And he was very hateful, and his comments just made you cringe. In this case, you know, you don't get that same sense. But regardless of that, his statements were so wrong. And, you know, you have to, if you are making a joke about something that serious, you have to be very clear that you're joking. And in that case, he wasn't clear at all. People were uncomfortable. They didn't know what was really going on. No, you not- hit it. You nailed it. I, first of all, I totally agree with your analysis, right? Mm-hmm. And I think uh, he should be banned from can, but he shouldn't be banned for life, okay? <laughs> Am I not merciful? Okay. And I'll tell you why I don't think he should be banned for life, okay? Not that there is a such a thing. We're inventing it. Mm-hmm. But it's because it's... I didn't get a sense from that clip that it was coming from a hateful place. Mm-hmm. I got this sense that it was coming from a weird, bumbling place. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. They've got 75,000 different titles. A book I've always meant to read but didn't have time for is Guns, Germs, and Steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to it through Audible.com. Actually, if you're a Young Turks listener, you get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.